Hey everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. Today we're going to be talking about making passive income with a blog. Oh yeah, it's a popular topic these days. It is, and there's a lot of hype out there. So we're going to try to cut through all that noise and look mm -hmm. at you know what it actually takes to make money from a blog. Right, get into the nitty gritty. Exactly. So before we get started, I just want to be clear that we're not financial advisors or anything. This is just for informational purposes. Yeah, do your own research and all that. Absolutely. All right, so let's get into it. What's the first thing someone needs to think about if they're, you know, thinking about starting a blog for passive income? Well, first off, I think it's important to understand that passive income isn't really passive. I mean, <laughs> you're still putting in the work up front to create something that will hopefully generate income down the line. Right. So it's more like building an asset. I exactly. Like you're building a business. You need to treat it that way. So what would be like the first step in building that business then? Well, I'd say the most crucial thing is to choose the right niche. You know, you don't want to be all over the place. You need to focus on a specific audience with shared interests. Okay, so like instead of just saying travel, yeah, you'd want to be more specific. Yeah, exactly. Like maybe budget travel tips for solo female travelers or something like that. So the more specific, the better. Pretty much. It helps you tailor your content and attract a dedicated audience. Makes it easier to monetize later on. Gotcha. So niche is like step one. What's next? Well, then you need to think about the platform you're going to use to build your blog. There are a lot of options out there. Like, what are some of the popular ones? Well, you've got WordPress, Blogger, Squarespace. Those are some of the big names. And they all have, like, their big. pros and cons. Yeah, definitely. Some are more user-friendly than others. Some give you more control over design and functionality. So how do you choose? It really depends on your needs and your budget. If you're serious about building a sustainable blog for passive income, I'd recommend going with a self-hosted platform like WordPress. What's the difference between like self-hosted and hosted? Good question. So with a hosted platform, you're basically renting space on their servers. You don't have as much control over your site. With a self-hosted platform, you own your own domain and hosting. You have more flexibility to customize your blog and optimize it for different income streams. So more control equals more potential for making money. Exactly. You can integrate ads, create landing pages, sell your own products. Okay, so that makes sense. Now I'm starting to see why choosing the right platform is so important. It's like laying the foundation for your house. You want to make sure it's strong and stable. So we've got the niche, we've got the platform. Yeah. What comes after that? Well, then it's time to get a domain name and hosting. Okay, so domain name, that's like your website address, right? Yep. It's how people will find you online. And hosting. That's where your website files live. Yeah. Think of it like the land your blog sits on. So you need both. Absolutely. You but, can't have one without the other. Okay, so how do you go about choosing a good domain name and hosting? Well, for your domain name, you want something catchy, memorable, relevant to your niche, easy to spell. Right. No one wants to be typing in some long, complicated URL. Exactly. And for hosting, you want to look for a provider that's reliable, fast, secure, has good customer support in case you run into any problems. So it's kind of like choosing a good landlord. Yeah. Mm. You want someone who's going to take care of things and be there for you when you need them. So we've covered the niche, the platform, the domain name, and hosting. What's next on our checklist? Well, now it's time to get creative and start designing your blog. Ah, yes. The fun part. Exactly. This is where you get to express your brand and create a visually appealing space that resonates with your target audience. So it's more than just making it look pretty. Oh, yeah. Design plays a big role in attracting the right people and creating a good user experience. So like if your niche is minimalist living, your blog design should reflect that. Exactly. You wouldn't want a cluttered, chaotic design. It would be totally off-brand. So design is all about supporting your content and your message. Precisely. And it's also about making your blog easy to navigate, load quickly, and look good on all devices. Right. Mobile responsiveness is huge these days. Absolutely. No one wants to be squinting at tiny text on their phone. Okay, so design is super important. So we've covered choosing a niche, selecting a platform, sorting out the domain name and hosting, and even designing the blog. Right. What's the next step? Now comes the heart of it all, creating compelling content. But you know what? I think that's a great place to stop for now and pick up in part two. All right. Sounds good. We'll see you all then for part two of our deep dive into making passive income with a blog. Welcome back. All right, so we left off talking about content. Like, how do you even start creating content for a blog? Yeah, it can be a bit daunting. Like, where do you even begin? Well, I think the most important thing is to really understand your audience. Like, what are they looking for? What are their pain points? What kind of content will resonate with them? So it's not just about writing what you're passionate about. It's got to be something that your audience cares about, too. 
you know? You want to provide value. Give them a reason to keep coming back for more. Okay, so you got to know your audience, but then what? Like, how do you actually create content that's engaging? Well, there are a few key things to keep in mind. Like, first off, your headline's got to be catchy, you know, grab people's attention <laughs> and make sure they accurately reflect the content of your post. Right. Clickbait is not cool. Definitely. You want to build trust with your readers, and then once you've got their attention, you got to keep them engaged. Break up those long blocks of text with subheadings, bullet points visuals, like right. images and infographics. Yeah, no one wants to read a wall of text. Exactly. Make it easy on the eyes. And then, of course, write in a clear, concise, and conversational style. So, like, you're talking to a friend? Pretty much. Keep it natural and let your personality shine through. Okay, so headlines, visuals, conversational style. What? Oh, and don't forget about different content formats. Like, you don't always have to write articles. You can mix things up with videos, podcasts, quizzes, polls. Oh, yeah. Keep it fresh and interesting. Exactly. See what works best for your audience and your niche. So you've got the content creation part down. What's next? Well, consistency is key. You know, you can't just post once in a blue moon and expect people to stick around. It's like going to the gym. You got to be regular about it. Exactly. You want to build momentum, keep your audience engaged. And for that, you need a content calendar. A content calendar. What's that? It's basically a schedule for your blog posts. It helps you stay organized and on track. Outlines topics, deadlines, promotional strategies. Oh, that sounds helpful. Like a roadmap for your blog? Pretty much. Keeps you from scrambling at the last minute and ensures that you're consistently delivering value to your readers. Like it. A content calendar. All right. So we've talked about content creation. Now, what about getting people to actually see that content? Ah, uh, yes. That brings us to the wonderful world of SEO. SEO, search engine optimization. I know it's important. But it can be kind of a mystery. I hear you. It can seem a bit daunting. But it's really about understanding how search engines work and optimizing your content so it ranks higher in search results. So like when someone searches for something related to your niche, your blog pops up. Exactly. You want to be front and center. Okay. So how do you do that? Well, it starts with keyword research. You know, yeah. figure out what terms people are using to search for information related to your niche. And then, then you've got to incorporate those keywords naturally into your blog posts, page titles, meta descriptions, image alt tags. So it's not just about stuffing keywords in wherever you can. No, it's got to be organic. Makes sense in the context of your content. So search engines can understand what your content is actually about. Exactly. And then on top of keywords, you want to make sure your website is mobile friendly, loads quickly. Yeah and has high quality content that people actually want to read and share. So it's not just about tricks and hacks, it's about creating good content. You got it. Good content is always king. All right, so we've covered content creation, we've talked about SEO, now I'm ready to get to the good stuff. Yeah. The monetization part. Okay, so you want to know how to actually make money from your blog? Yeah, that's the whole point, right? Well, there are a few different ways to monetize. And the best approach often involves a combination of strategies. So like a mix and match. Pretty much. But before we get into the specifics, I think it's important to remember that building a sustainable income stream takes time and effort. So no get-rich-quick schemes. I wish. But building a successful blog is like building any other business. It takes dedication and a willingness to experiment and adapt. All right, I'm ready to put in the work. Just tell me how. Okay, well, let's dive into those monetization strategies in part three. Okay, so we're back, and we're finally ready to talk about the money-making part of blogging. All right, let's get into it. You mentioned before that there are different ways to monetize a blog. What are some of the most popular methods? Well, one common approach is advertising. You can sign up for ad networks like Google AdSense, which display targeted ads on your blog, and you earn a small fee every time someone clicks on an ad or even just views it. So it's like those ads you see on like news websites and stuff. Yeah, exactly. You've probably seen them everywhere. So you just put up some ads and watch the money roll in. Well, not quite. I mean, it's not that simple. While display ads can generate some passive income, they usually work best when you have a significant amount of traffic. You know, a lot of people visiting your site. Right, because more visitors equals more clicks. Exactly. And plus, those ads can sometimes be a bit annoying for readers. You know, they can be distracting and clutter up your design. Yeah, I get that. So are there other options that might be less intrusive? Absolutely, there are. And maybe even more lucrative. Oh, okay. Like what? Well, one option is sponsored content. 
This is where brands pay you to create and publish content that features their products or services. So like a company might pay you to write a blog post about their new shoes or something. Yeah, exactly. Or it could be a social media shout out or a video review. So it's like getting paid to talk about stuff you already love. Essentially, yes. But it's important to be selective and only partner with brands that align with your niche and values. You know, your audience trusts you. So don't compromise that trust by promoting something you don't genuinely believe in. Right. Authenticity is key. Yeah. What about affiliate marketing? I've heard a lot of bloggers talk about that. Yeah. Affiliate marketing is a great way to monetize if you're already recommending products or services that you use and love. Yeah. Basically, you sign up for an affiliate program, get a unique tracking link, and promote that link on your blog. And when someone makes a purchase through your link, you earn a commission. So it's kind of like being a salesperson, but you're only recommending stuff you actually believe in. Exactly. And the beauty of it is that you can promote a wide range of products and services without having to create them yourself or deal with customer support. So pretty passive. Yeah. For the yeah. most part, you just got to focus on creating great content that will drive traffic to your affiliate links. Okay. So we've got advertising, sponsored content, affiliate marketing. Any other monetization strategies we should talk about? Oh, yeah. There's one more that I think is worth mentioning. You could create and sell your own digital products, like ebooks, online courses, templates. So instead of promoting other people's stuff, you're yeah. selling your own. Exactly. This takes more upfront work, but the earning potential is often much higher. Plus, you have complete control over the product and the pricing. Okay. So that's definitely something to consider down the line. Yeah. Once you've built up a solid audience and you know what they're looking for. So we've covered a lot of ground today. We talk about choosing a niche designing your blog, creating compelling content, and exploring different monetization strategies. It's a lot to take in. It is. But I think the main takeaway is that building a successful blog and generating passive income requires hard work, dedication, and a strategic approach. Couldn't agree more. You got to treat it like a business. But at the same time, don't forget to have fun with it. You know, share your passion, connect with your audience, Keep learning and growing. Exactly. Don't get so caught up in the hustle that you forget to enjoy the journey. Well said. Well, I think that's about all the time we have for today. Yeah, we covered a lot. We did. But hopefully everyone listening feels inspired and equipped to start building their own successful blog. And maybe even turn their passion into a source of passive income. Yeah, exactly. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and start creating. Until next time, happy blogging.